Right, now we're going to have our first look at brickwork bonding and uh, the importance of getting your bonding right to start off with. And uh, to do this we have uh, a number of little exercises that we do and they, they start off in our brickwork bonding booklet. And again, if we just um, first of all familiarise ourselves with uh, just a, a couple of the rules of bonding that we have. So we go to section two here and we have the rules of bonding. You probably won't be able to read that from there. So um, I'll just say the first rule of bonding that we have is uh, about dry bond being essential. Um, we have here on rule two, half bond must be maintained throughout the wall. Again, this is just with stretcher bond, uh, quarter bond if we were talking about um, English bond, but those uh, bonds uh, have um, similar rules but we go into those ones when we actually deal with solid work. Um, the other rule that we were gonna, uh, we must always remember is rule three, no straight joints in any wall except where you have movement joints. Um, we have rule four which is nothing less than a half uh, within a wall except on corner closures, again that is with uh, solid work, English and Flemish bond. Um, broken bonds must be kept to a minimum uh, then we're going to jump to rule 9 uh, because the exercises we're going to be looking at, the first three, are all going to be uh, junctions and how we bond those. So the rules that we have to remember for junctions are, uh, we have three here, uh, one course must butt the main course. Again, I will go into this in a little bit more detail when we look at the drawing. Uh, two is they must have a tie brick on the alternating course. And the third rule for um, working out junctions uh, and piers, this is really as well, is that uh, there must be symmetry either side of the junction. So if we just turn to what would be like the first exercise that we have in here, we can see that we have drawn here uh, the first and second course of a junction. Now what I have done is I have made this drawing bigger um, for this video because obviously working from the booklet um, would be a little bit difficult to explain it properly. So I've blown it up and um, we can see here that our junction is two bricks in. Now what we did learn just then about these um, the rules uh, the junction rules are that one of these courses must butt up, this is the main wall, the junction wall must butt up to here. If this one butts up then the next course would tie over. Now we don't know which way around this goes at the moment and this is why dry bond or just setting it out with a pencil, don't do this with a um, with a pen to start off with or even if you are using a pencil don't do it too hard because uh, I can almost guarantee that you will make mistakes and if you try to rub them out and the lines are too hard it becomes very difficult to uh, actually see what we're doing. Um, so you can see on the exercises, the following exercises, I will start you off with a half to give you um, your, the start of your first course and if we just um, look at these you can see we've got these divisions on here. Each one of these is quarter of a brick so you can see here the half has two so obviously four of these would be a full brick. So what we need to be looking at again is just working out from that half, remembering that there's the centre and we must have symmetry either side of the junction on both of these as well. So if that's the centre of our junction wall, imagine it like putting a mirror there. Whatever we have leading up to this side whether it be a whole brick or a three quarter, uh, then we must have the same that side. And whatever happens, we must have either the centre of the brick or centre of a joint on the centre of the junction. Obviously that way means that we can mirror that uh, both sides. So again with the pencil, what we're going to look for here is uh, one, two, three, four. We're going to say we've got a stretcher there. Now you can see one, two, three, four. If I did a stretcher there, you can see the joint would be there, which isn't on the centre. So this tells us that really we can't put a half in there because that wouldn't look right. Um, so what we're going for here is a three quarter to take us up to there. So there's our stretcher. 
we can just pencil that in very very lightly so if we have a free quarter in here we know with the rules of bonden we must have a free quarter this side as well so we can see we've got symmetry there header stretcher three quarter three quarter and then we would carry on the rest of the course in stretcher or half bond uh, and this one here again we could see we have a whole brick and a whole brick so looking at the second course we can see that we would start obviously we had a stretcher there so this one would be a header so a stretcher four and then a stretcher would go all the way through again if we just remember what we said right at the start the rule here is this one will butt up so that means this one must tie across okay so no straight joints so we can see what we had here so again we're going to be looking at this obviously we want a stretcher for the second course again keep doing it like you can see the stretcher works nicely in there because again we are two bricks so we know two bricks would uh, go up um, there nicely so again we have stretchers because again we had a stretcher there we must have a stretcher here okay so that one reasonably straightforward um, if we go on to the next one which is the next one in uh, the booklet as well uh, this time we've changed it so that we have a uh, brick and three quarters so again if we look at this one we'll go think to ourselves we need the center mark there just think about this you don't have to draw anything if that's a stretcher there where would a stretcher take me here so a stretcher would be one two three four to there well we can see that that stretcher spans nicely in the center of this wall so that's telling us we could lightly draw these in to make sure we're happy with that but that means obviously this wall butts up so again we can just pencil those ones in and again that one is done if we had stretcher and a stretcher so there's stretchers all the way through so we now straight away when we come to the second course because the first course butted up this one we can draw straight across without even working anything out we can draw this across because we know by the rules of bonding that butted up this must tie through so we had a half on the first course so the second course we want to have a stretcher again just to maintain half bond and that's left us with a three quarter with the rules of bonding we know whatever we had this side we must have this side so we know that we have a three quarter there as well and that three quarter the two three quarters and a half obviously would bring us back to uh, being half bond on there okay